had, uh, uh, Brother Eric, get ready to help me back there in just a minute uh, with the lights. Uh, this morning, I want you to take your Bible, turn to the book of Genesis, the book of Genesis, chapter 6. Here, this thing was written thousands and thousands of years ago, and there is no more up-to-date uh, scripture in the Bible than Genesis 6. And you know why? Because Jesus said, just like it was then, that's the way it's going to be again. Have you wondered why all the weird stuff's happening in the world? Well, uh, we're going to see it this morning. I'm going to recap some of the stuff I did a few months ago, so the rest of y'all pray. If you done not seen part of this, uh, pray for those that have not. There's probably 50 in here that have not. So please pray this morning. Now, uh, the, the amazing thing is we've come to the point and the place where that the back page of the Bible reads like the front page of the newspaper. Think about that. Back page of the Bible is reading like the front page of the newspaper. Here in Genesis 6, look at verse number 2. Genesis 6, 2. That the sons of God, we studied that before, those are not normal people. No matter what the Scoville Bible says. Saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days. Now the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. covers up every bit of evidence that they have for giants have been on this world. You'd have to be blind or ignorant of the facts not to believe there were giants on this earth. You'd have to be ignorant. You, 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 have, you haven't studied. You haven't done your homework. There definitely are. There, there are giant bones. The Bible says it. Even if they didn't find a fingernail that long, it still is true. But God said they were there. Now, they giants, the reason the Smithsonian Institute and the college colleges and universities and high schools don't want you to know that is because it predicts evolution. And they try to tell you that we started out as an amoeba and gradually grew up to a tadpole and then a frog, then a monkey, and then a baboon, and then a person. And that's wrong. That never happened. Jesus said from the beginning, listen, Jesus said from the beginning, God made them male and female. There was no time in there for an amoeba to evolve and then a, the other sex amoeba evolved. So they could get married and have babies. They couldn't, it couldn't happen. Now, listen. Jesus said there were giants in the earth in those days. Also, after that, after the flood, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, they bare children to them. The same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great. Sure. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Now look, people. Here's where we're at. God saw, and you know what he saw? He saw a bunch of people that could not shoot a microphone without thinking something wicked or perverted or wicked about it. Their mind was content. Does that sound like us? Does it sound like the day we're living in? These stand-up comedians, these people in Hollywood... They, I mean, they can't drink a glass of water without making some perverted, wicked. It said their mind was evil continually. You, uh, people, these girls that go to work to me, they say, Brother Danny, is this man at work? And every time I walk by, he says something dirty. He's got something, something wicked, something like that. And now Jesus said, when it got like that again, that's when I'm coming back. Now, what I'm going to do this morning is show you how close we are to coming to the Lord. And we've always preached what the Bible said about the end times. Always have. But ladies and gentlemen, in the last two years, we have seen the world change more, three years, in the last three years, than we have in a mighty, mighty, mighty long time. I do not have time to go into all the details about it, but uh, the, the first thing I want to say is that the stage is now being set for a one world government. 
Do you know the Bible? Do you understand? The Bible said in the last days, uh, before, right before the Lord blows everything up, there's going to be a one world dictator. And he's going to run the world. He's called the Antichrist. And he's going to cause everybody in the world, computers run the world in, and he's going to cause everybody in the world to have a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. That's the way all the business transactions will wind up being. A, that's why we're moving toward a cashless society. We're moving toward it. I mean, I know that about it. Uh, what, what's coming in the future, and I don't know how long, maybe a while, I hope so. Uh, but um, the bank, did you, you heard about the banks? You know what the FedNow program is? You understand what FedNow program is? It's a new program they are rolling out in three weeks, 1st of July, in which banks are going to speed up the process of just doing everything digital in their transaction. Now, eventually, eventually, that's where it's going to go. If I, if I owe you a I thousand dollars, a bunch of buttons that puts thousand dollars in your account. Really, that ain't a thousand dollars. It's just pushing buttons and numbers. You understand that, right? It's not money. It's not really money. And if there's money, there ain't enough gold uh, to back it all up. And what they're saying is, what experts are saying now, people that are not biased, are saying that eventually we're going to come to the point where that when you, when you, like like say you uh, uh, say you got money saved up, cash somewhere. A lot of people have cash money saved up, so they ain't getting my money. So you stir it up somewhere. Now where this is coming to is, they're they they can count your money. What they say it runs out. Like you had a gift card for belts or uh, big sporting goods or or a restaurant, and you didn't use it for two or three years, it goes dead. It ain't good no more. And that's a, they'll have a certain expiration date on your money where you can't spend it. Then they got you. Then they got you. Man told me he said they ain't gonna get me. I'll buy me a farm down here. And I'll grow my own food. And I, I said, yeah, and you don't pay taxes on it. They'll take it away from you, too. They got you. They got us all, eventually. They got us. And so what me and you need to do is do the best we can, make the best living we can, go as long as we can, as hard as we can, uh, buy, buy you a piece of land, own your own property, do what you can, raise your family right, make sure they all get saved, and pray Jesus comes and gets us out of here. That's the best thing we can do. Now, look, y'all. Look, it is, it's, getting, it's getting scarier and scarier. We are moving toward a cashless society. I'm going to show you in just a minute uh, how close we are to uh, one, a one world government uh, completely, just completely taken over in this world. Now you watch it this morning, and I'll show you here in just a second. We are moving toward that. We are moving toward the what we call the World Economic Forum. Headed up by Klaus Schwab, that German genius over there from Germany. And they say that man is, uh, is uh, calling the shots, running the show. And he's going he's gonna to put the ball in somebody's court today. We don't need to be there, y'all. He sure is. Hey, no doubt about it. And turn that blue one off just a second and then turn it back on. All right? You can turn it back on. Now, look, what I'm going to show you this morning is how close we are to a one world government. I'm going to go ahead and get the lights here, Brother Eric, and see if I can get some sound here on the blue one. And I'm going to show you something real quick. Watch, watch how close we are. Thousands and eventually millions of people could be using Neuralink devices to treat various medical conditions or injuries, and you would never be able to tell that they have the implant. This is a technology that will aspirationally help the paralyzed to walk and the blind to see. Now, yeah, hold on just a second. He said, what this technology will do is help the blind to see and, and help the lame to walk. And what he's saying is, the signs are coming. I don't have time to get into it, but when the Antichrist comes, he will have 10 demoniac superhumanoid kings that rule with him. And they will have power to heal and have power to, to heal blind people. Just like Jesus and the apostles did. So when somebody comes along and says, I have the power to heal, that don't mean they're of God. Amen? Amen. Now, watch this, how close we are to this country. This isn't just one of Elon Musk's ILBCI, which means that it interfaces directly with the brain map. Interface means it connects. A computer chip connects with the brain. 
I don't know if you saw this on the news, but I think it was just last week they did get approval to test this on human beings. Last week, just came out in the news. Finally, approval to put a computer chip in your head. And what they're supposed to do is, is fix things that are wrong with you and eventually connect your brain to the internet. You talk about men's heart only evil continually. You think it's bad now, buddy. You ain't seen nothing yet. You talk about these, this is part human, part machine. This is not conspiracy theory. This is not some hillbilly Baptist preacher that don't know. This is happening in our world just like the Bible said. Through a physical connection. And that will allow their device to create a whole brain interface. Look at that. Reading and writing signals across the entire brain. This gives BCI the potential to solve any number of debilitating neurological issues, and it can bring the interface between brain and machine. With that, a between brain and machine. Link device forming the interface between brain and machine. With there a neural link device. With a neural. That's Daniel chapter two. Iron and clay. Iron and clay. The machines made out of the iron. The bodies made out of clay. Daniel said, "Those ten kings that will rule the world." In that last day, we'll be operating by, uh, by something that is iron and clay mixed. Device that person could actually have better control over a smartphone than a person using their hands. So you can actually control a phone better like that than some people use their hands. People are going to say, that's the greatest thing I ever heard of. Let's do it. Let's do it. I mean, if I wasn't saying that, no, no better, I think that's a great idea. Listen. Watch it. Elon Musk said that he believes one of the first applications for Neuralink can be restoring sight to the blind. Even, Miracle. even Iron Man. Miracle, just like Iron Jesus. Man. Now, what they're saying is they're putting these things in soldiers making Iron Man. You know why Iron Man is so popular? The movies, the games, and everything. And they're talking about it because Daniel chapter 2. It said they'll mix between iron and clay. Good night. If I didn't know the Bible is true this morning, I'd believe it because of that. If I was here this morning and I didn't know I'm saved, if you don't know you're ready to meet the Lord, I'd run down here to this altar and get right with God today. I mean, I'd do it today. Y'all, it time's running out. Time's running out. Look at here. Look here at this. Watch this. Watch this this morning. Which will provide superhuman abilities like night vision, enhanced strength, and protection from gunfire. Each suit would have an onboard computer. That oh, baby. There's what happens when they try to shoot it. Well, that sounds like a cool idea, don't it? Now, give me just one light in the middle here, uh, Eric. Just punch that middle one there. This, this is what is going on as far as the world's concerned. It ain't coming. It's here. That's the title. What I'm preaching on this morning. It's not coming, people. It's here. It's already here. This is being done as the church is lulled to sleep. Ladies and gentlemen, they just had an experiment not long ago where they had these two AIs, artificial intelligence. True story. You can, it can be verified where they had them. And the scientists decided they would let the two AIs talk to each other. And in only a few minutes, they jumped up above the scientist level and were speaking a language the scientists couldn't even figure out. And were talking to each other and they got scared and cut it off. Now, when that, listen to me, when that's hooked into the human brain... And then a demon gets in that thing. We got ourselves a mess of walking around on this earth. Oh, it's far-fetched preaching. No, uh, 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 no, it's not either. It's hard. A, a, a demon can possess a person, right? Everybody that's demon possessed, say, oh, like that, you know, roll around their head, going around backwards. People that demon possessed run colleges and universities. People that are demon possessed perform in Hollywood. People that are demon possessed uh, make the music that your kids listen to. Hey, hey. You hear me this morning? Jesus is coming, people. The Lord's coming back. Get ready. Get ready before he comes and leaves you here behind. Look at this now. You think, uh, let's talk about morality or apostasy. What's apostasy? Apostasy is when the professing church departs from what it's supposed to be. All of our lives, church was a certain way and the world was a certain way. But all of a sudden, we see this right here. This is an Easter service from a church uh, in Oklahoma not long ago. Go ahead. Uh, give me that off our brother. 
Now, this is a, what's, what's this? Go ahead. Punch that middle line. Look at here. What about that? Let's make the most of the night because we're going to die young. A little filthy song. Church! Hey, you, I don't care how, they, what them people say, they ain't a kid in here this morning that's they, too dumb to realize that's not church. Anybody with a brain knows that's not church, people. Oh, well, people worship different. Well, I, I don't disagree with that, uh, but it ain't Bible worship, and it's not worshiping the right God. I, I thought that was a Super Bowl halftime. Look at that, man. The devil, uh, he was an angel turned into a hustler, turned into a hustler. Well, that's ignorant. Listen, that's bragging on the devil, people. That's making him sound like some kind of cool hustler. And then it shows a woman on the cross. Every, and, and, and gee, look at that. Yeah, the woman on the cross back there in the background. See her? Crucified. That's supposed to be an Easter service? Are you kidding me? Look at this. Now we're going to talk about morality in just a second. Give me a light down in just a second, brother. That was apostasy. Let's talk about morality. Let's talk about morality. Have y'all noticed that you can't turn on the news the last two weeks, just the last two weeks, without being bombarded with the stories of UAPs? They don't call them UFOs no more, unidentified flying object. That's got a stigma attached to them. So the smart guys got together and said, if people are going to believe this, we're going to have to call it by another name. So it's now unidentified aerial phenomena or unidentified anomaly phenomena. How many of y'all have seen on your phone or on, on the news the articles about this in the last couple of weeks? Raise your hand, please. Everybody in here just about. Everybody in here. It's, it's every time you turn it on. And that story, it's not going away. What's what's being we are we are being prepped. Are you listening to me? We are being conditioned little by little. They're letting out a little information. The government has had possession of UFOs and probably occupants since the late 1940s. We had one president that made a deal with the aliens themselves. You sit up there and say, Brother Danny, you are not going to stand up there and tell me that you believe people from other planets. I didn't say that. You ain't listening. I didn't say there's people on other planets. I said the devil is transformed as an angel of light. And when he appears on this earth, he's going to appear in a way to deceive the population. And this is what's going to happen. They're going to land them babies, brother. And then they're going to make communication. And then they're going to come out and they're going to say, well, we put y'all here millions of years ago. And we've been watching your evolution. And you finally are able to talk with us now. And so we come down to see you. Come down to see the daughters of men like they did in Genesis 6. And, and so everybody's going to say, oh, my goodness. All these years we've been believing that there was a God. All these years we've been believing the Bible was true. And there was one God. We was the only thing there was. No, 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 brother. No, no, no. You you believe you believe right there is a god god did put us here they're liars they're deceivers and the bible said they'd send them strong delusion strong delusion that's what we're seeing you ain't seen nothing yet it ain't coming it's here man it's me one time they said well i know them things ain't from russia you think russia can invent something that can disappear and reappear and make 90 degree turns or 45 degree turns at 2,000 miles an hour, G-force would kill anything that did that. You can't make a 45 degree turn going 2,000 miles an hour. They're photographed, they're videoed doing that. Russia makes something that smells like sulfur. Russia makes something that makes people in the area feel like they're possessed by something. Russia makes something. No, it ain't Russia. It ain't China. It ain't coming from outer space. They're coming from down there. They're coming out of the water. And out of portals. And you say, well, my preacher said you was crazy. Well, you tell your preacher that I said he ain't done his homework. 
Nothing personal. You gonna see some morality fall on out from under us? What's this girl at the gotten her Grammy or Emmy Award one? I want you to know that no one had less to do with this award than Jesus. <laughs> he didn't help me a bit. If it was up to him, Caesar Milan would be up here. So life at Jesus. Life at the only hope they got for staying out of hell. And she's now gonna say she's gonna hold that little God up there and say, this award is my God now. Suck it, Jesus. All I can say is, suck it, Jesus. This award is my God now. <laughs> that's no. a mistake, sister. You think that's a mistake, man. She Heavy, heavy doesn't hang over her head, buddy. I tell you, I wouldn't trade places with her for every bit of money in North Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, hear me today. Watch this young man on YouTube. Burn the Bible. Jesus Christ, I hate you. Then watch it burn. Jesus Christ, I hate you. How weird. How weird. Not the Quran. Not, not the Quran. Just the Bible. You know what that shows you? Do you know what that shows y'all? That shows you you got the right book. That's the one the devil hates. They don't burn the Quran. They don't burn the Hindu books. They don't burn the books from other religions. Only that Bible. So the spirit that's doing this is what hates the Bible. Now let's move on here. Show you something about morality. Look at this. Marilyn Manson tearing it up at his concert. Prick your finger. It is done. The moon has now eclipsed the sun. The angel has spread his wings. But I, he's got a tile on like a preacher. He's got a zigzag lightning bolt on the pulpit representing the fall of Satan. Watch what he does with the Bible. Ah, Lord, y'all. Look at that. People are going like a bunch of dogs fighting over fresh meat. The Word of God. That book has the only hope they've got. For missing hell. And they stand him up. Look at here. Here he is tearing out pages of it and eating it. Now look at here. This just happened a few weeks ago. This is the largest satanic gathering in, in the country's history together. This is a few weeks ago in Boston, Massachusetts. And they've come and they've said this. They said, about time. Satan got some glory around here, and we're going to show you what, what this girl did, the leader of it here. Without opposition, and we stand here today in defiance of their siege and destroy their symbols of oppression. Symbols of oppression. Listen, them people, she got that money for that dress, the house she lives in, the plane she flew there on, and her meals paid for by people that built this country believe in that book. And they're spitting in the face of God. Listen, buddy, we're all sinners. Ain't nobody perfect. God knows I'm, I'm more sinner in here. But I tell you one thing, brother. There's going to be hell to pay one of these days for people uh, that treat God's word like it and are teaching kids that. Look at this. <laughs> Hell, Satan. Uh, my, 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 my. I wish they had that back one day. That is, that is. Now, this school year, they're putting this after school Satan clubs in schools. Now, the same schools that don't want the Bible, the same schools that have sent kids home for wearing. Jesus saves or heaven or hell on their shirt. Now look what's going in the schools. In North Carolina too, by the way. Satanic Temple has its way. After school Satan. There's after school Satan. Amy Jeffy. Look at this. Disney. Disney. And Disney put this on and it's supposed to say, we love you, Santa. And they put it out and look what the kids wind up spelling. <laughs> We love you, Satan. Oh, it's an accident, really. Why didn't you fix it before you aired it? 
You know, they don't just air them things live. Listen, y'all, Disney used to be a family-friendly place and all that, so that place has gone to the devil. And I'll, I'll prove that more in just a minute. You would not believe the Disney employees that are being arrested for pedophilia. Where else would a pedophile rather work than Disney, right? I know, I know. You know, Danny, that'll get you in trouble. Well, listen, well, what's the preacher supposed to do? Act like it ain't real? Act like it ain't happening? No, no. Look at him. Here's how they fix it and make a joke out of it. Watch them laugh like it's a big joke. Colleen. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. It's just not a big joke, brother. Listen to this song that the after school Satan puts out for kids. He wants you to learn and question why He wants you to have fun and be yourself And by the way, there is no hell That's song, kids. By the way, oh, we don't believe in religion. We don't even believe in the real difference. Oh, by the way, there is no hell. Preaching religion, huh? Bunch of hypocrites. They don't let a Bible in there, but they let somebody come in and tell the kids, there is no hell? Ladies and gentlemen, I, Brother Danny Castle... Stand before you this morning and say, I've been preaching since I was 19 years old. There was no such thing as this back then. Listen, if you'd have showed that in a church 30, 40 years ago, people wouldn't have slept that night. People said, I can't believe this is going on. You know what's wrong with us? We are so desensitized. We are so, we are so warped. We are so, nothing bothers us anymore. We've seen so much junk on TV. Oh, well, that's all right, freedom, right? Hey, boy, listen, you better rise up and shake yourself. If you're here this morning and you're not right with God, you better jump up. You better shake yourself and get ready because you're running out of time. The Lord will not let this keep going like it's going. Watch this. Science is important. So what they're saying is we say science ain't important. They're just ignorant. Understand the world. Satan looks for truth. Let's help him, boys and girls. What subliminally that saying, these ignorant Christians don't believe in science, but Satan looks for the truth. Let's help him, boys and girls. You know what they call that? Recruiting. Recruiting. Oh, we don't, we're not in the schools to recruit. Really? Let's help him, boys and girls? That ain't recruiting? Satan's not an evil. Yeah, little kids will just swallow that. They want you to have fun and be yourself. Look here what it says. Satan's inclusive. Is with Satan. all That's always you. Satan will always be equal, whether you're black, white, or gay. See, mean old God. He's mean. He don't love gay people. Now, I tell you who don't love gay people is the devil. God loved him enough to let his son die on the cross for gay people. And people like all the rest of us, black, white, uh, uh, that little, rich, big, poor. God loved us all with an everlasting love. The devil's one that don't love you. Satan's not a scary God. Yes, he is, too. That's what they want you to believe. Turn the light back on, bro. Now let me say in closing this morning about morality. Do you understand this morning? Do you understand this morning? Grady Judd, the old sheriff down there in Polk County, Florida, they just done another big bust a pedophile just in the last couple months, I think, and come out with that. Listen, I, I don't want to make y'all sick I can't even stand hardly to say, say what I'm getting ready to say. But child sex trafficking in this country, they, they studied it. They talked about thousands of kids coming in from Ukraine. That's interesting, isn't it? Kids being sold from Ukraine. These kids are being bred here in America. Thousands. Are you listening to me? Thousands of kids are being bred. That means they're, they're harvested for that purpose. They have no birth certificate. They're not born in the hospital. 
and keep them seven or eight years old, and finally they, they die from being raped so much and malnourished, and we don't even know they've been here. There's no record of them. Police can't find them. Don't know who they are, where they are. They say that child sex trafficking is now a $34 billion a year business. You want me to explain that to you? You want me to tell you what $34 billion is? The entire airline industry, all the airlines in the United States, ain't but $22 billion. And God looked down and saw the thoughts of man's heart that they're evil continually. When we're spending almost twice as much money raping babies three and six and eight months old than we are on the airline industry, the judgment of God coming on this country. Coming. Coming. Tens of thousands of kids are being sold like pigs and dogs. And if anybody in Hollywood says anything about it, they're belittled, ostracized, kicked out, and their families threatened to be murdered if they say anything. Crime is out the roof. 100,000 people a year now are overdosing on opioids, meth, heroin. And we all know people like that. You know what I'm saying? Here's what's coming. According to the book of Revelation, this is coming soon. The Bible says the sea and the waves roaring. The Bible says there'll come a time when men's hearts will be selling to life. Right? Men's hearts will be no. Oh. Let God speak your heart this morning. That's what's coming on this earth. The Bible said the, the cities of the nations will fall. The buildings are going to fall. The judge, White House is going to fall. The Empire State Building is going to fall. Chicago is going to fall. Tampa is going to fall. People are running 90 miles an hour into the, in the abyss, into the pit. Oh, my goodness. Why did you have to tell us this? I thought life was great and everything great. Now you are up here talking so negative. negative. I'm telling you the truth, brother. I'm positive. I'm positive. There's a better day ahead for us. There's a better day ahead for us. Jesus is coming, brother. Jesus is coming, people. The Lord's coming back. He can come today. You may not put a hot dog in your mouth that time before the Lord can come and snatch us out of this world. Glory to God, it's good to be saved. Look at here, y'all. Look at here, y'all. This is what's happening to our friends and neighbors. They're running towards the fire. Don't even know it. Where they're headed. Look at that. Every moment a soul goes to hell. People are dying. Why well, me and you up here this morning? People that got up this morning thought they was going to church. Never did make it. It's ready to meet the Lord, people. It's ready to meet the Lord. He's coming. If you don't get out in a day or two. If you don't get out in a week or two. It's forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. The good news is this morning. And that, now that middle light, brother. The good news this morning is you don't have to be here. And that happened to you. Ma'am, if you're here this morning, young lady, daddy, mom, if you're here this morning, I'm telling you, God loves you so much that Jesus died for your sins. And he wants to save you this morning. She's playing softly. In a minute they'll sing. To their own. If God's dealing with your heart here this morning, ma'am. Maybe you're here this morning and you've never been here before. Maybe you're here this morning and you come every Sunday. I don't know. I don't know your heart. You let the Lord speak to you today. I tell you. I tell you. It's still early. Honest to goodness. This altar ought to be full of people. Crying out to God. I, I, I'm not against praying for the sick. I do that every day. I pray for people. But I hear Christians and I get texts and stuff. And all it is is pray for so and so they broke their leg. Pray for so and so they hurt their arm. Pray for so and so they're having problems. Pray for so and so. And, and all that's good. You know what you never hear nobody say? 
pray for so and so they're lost. When the last time somebody texted you, been online said, please pray for my brother. We're, we, we're warped. I think it's just trying to pray the lost out of hell, trying to pray the saved out of heaven. I don't remember getting sick. I'm not against praying for sick. I do that. If I get sick, I want people to pray for me. John, what's happened to our burden? What's happened to our care about people that are going there? You got you to shake yourself. You got to shake yourself. We're, we're not living in a simulation. This is real. It's real. We're trying to tell you now, Elon Musk said that there's probably a good change. We're just in a simulation. We're just all dreaming. None of this ain't even real. You'll start thinking stuff like that. Better shake yourself. Spend some time in prayer. I want us to stand, please. Every head bowed, never eye closed. In just a minute, they're going to start singing. When they do, God's dealing with your heart here this morning. Give me one more line back up there. And God's dealing with your heart here this morning. You let God speak your heart. There'll be somebody here to pray with you. There'll be somebody here to help you. Young lady, girl, mama, dad, teenager. You let the Lord speak your heart this morning. Will you do that? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you'd speak to somebody's heart here today. I pray for that one that may be holding back. This will be the day when they come and get their heart right with God. Help us, Lord. God, do a miracle right here this morning. Save lost souls, touch hearts, change lives forever from this service on this morning. And we'll thank you and praise you for it. In Jesus' name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Amen. They're singing. Let's begin to come. Amen. Come on, Christians. Let's get this all this morning. Let's pray for our boys and our girls, our mamas and our daddies. That's right. Come on. That's right. Come on. Amen. Maybe you're here this morning. You're not saved, ma'am. Come on. Maybe you're here this morning. You're not saved. Let's repent and stop. Come on. 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 Come on.
Hallelujah. Amen. Boy, isn't that a wonderful sight? You know what I'm glad about today? I'm glad the opportunity is still here. I'm glad the door is still open. Listen, y'all, we're living in a messed up time. You know what I heard somebody say the other day? Some guy, he was fussing about Bud Light. Christian, I was fussing about Bud Light, but the transgender person on the bus can. He said, I'm done with Bud Light. I'm not going to drink it no more. I'm taking my stand for the Lord. That's how messed up we are. Christians, that's how messed up stuff is. I'm telling you, that's nuts, y'all. It's nuts. You, you don't realize you need to sort of go along with the world. You don't know how bad off you are. Somebody sort of slacks back up like this this morning. And the future's bright. We got a very positive future. The world has a negative future. You're just going to get old and die. That's their belief. We believe you got a better day ahead. This is positive preaching this morning. Better day ahead. Negative is what the world believes. Make all the money you can. Hope you don't get sick because you're going to do and die. That's their belief. Positive is get ready. Jesus is coming. There's a better day coming for the child of God. All right. Hey, thank you. All right. Give me the rest of the lights. Hold what you got there. Just a second. Everybody move uh, to instruct you here. Just a second here. Hey, Amen. I don't know who all got right, got saved, whatever. But uh, thank you for being here this morning. Now, you be sure and be back tonight. The choir will be singing. We're going to have some special from the Soggy Bridges boys. Uh, you don't want to miss that. Tonight, 6 o'clock this evening. Now, what we're going to do now, we're going to have a picnic. Don't get discouraged if the line, line is a little long. They'll move quick. Get your hot dog. Hang around and watch these kids have a lot of fun. And they're going to today. My hat goes off to everybody who's worked. And all the bus work is not even in here. That's why you have all these empty seats in here. We've got a, a bunch of people. There's more people probably out there than they are in here this morning, or as many. And so uh, my hat's off to them. They've done a tremendous job. Uh, Kelly had over 40. Ethan had over 40, I think. Uh, and uh, Spencer had nearly, nearly 30. And that little bitty bus. Uh, uh, they had a lot. <laughs> Uh, I mean, boy, it was great. It was great. Praise the Lord for it. So uh, we're going to ask the blessing on the food. You can go out this way or that way. Now, if you are leaving, go very slow. Very slow. Very slow. Seriously. If you are staying, take your time. If you have your car out here in this parking lot, maybe move them around as soon as possible and get them out of the way back here. And they're going to watch out here and pray till, uh, play till about one. I prayed the rain would not come till 145. 145, then can come all on step. That's my prayer to the Lord. Lord, don't let it rain till 145. Okay? All right. Uh, I ain't. I don't control the weather. But I know somebody does. He can do it. He done it. He's rallied, didn't he? So let's uh, pray about that. I done hear something. I done hear something out there. It's Satan claws on his four-wheelers. I'm just kidding, that might be, might be one of our men. Uh, uh, but uh, let's, let's enjoy the Lord. Have a good time in fellowship. We're going to pray, be dismissed. Take your time getting out now. Don't run off. Be friendly. Make sure you make our visitors welcome. Be back here at 6 o'clock this evening. It's going to be great. Uh, we're excited about it, okay? All right, let's bow our head. Have uh, uh, Brother, Brother Mueller, why don't you dismiss us, brother? Pray for us.